What is up, YouTube? We're back in the video. This video, we're going over conference stories and how to make coins with conference stories. One thing we do want to realize this is it's, it's a very, this is a, a five or training reroll like promo. It is a Tuesday promo. So, this promo actually is, this is actually one of the better pro promos of the week. Because conference stories, something that's different with conference stories is their, a, their A3 overall cards are actually good. Like in this game. Normally what we see, um, conference stories, A3s are good. In case you missed it, like, Ace, like, their Ace, or Champions are decent. Alumni, Alumni is just goaded for, cha like, the Champions LTs for Alumni are really, really, really good. And Legends are, normally, they're pretty mid, honestly. They're, like, good, and there's some good ones, some bad ones. But conference stories. You see, these A2s never go down, because they're all, like, they're, they're, there's... The exchange pack for the eight three set that people do all the time because of people like Jeremiah Smith. Hundred seventeen thousand coins for a three overall card. Eight by speed. He's really really good. Same thing. King Mac over here goes for ninety k. Eight by speed. Which actually is the same amount of speed as the champion tomorrow. The champion safety tomorrow. Which the Winston dude whatever. Which. To me, makes zero sense. He already has an 85 overall card. Why do we need a six overall card of him? Why? Like, let me just go strong safety. I'll little show you. I'll little show you this card right now. His card tomorrow is gonna be cheaper than what his regular card goes for. Go down here. This dude, Kevin Winston Jr. This card tomorrow has 85 speed. This card right here, 80 by speed. What's the point? Why is he getting a champion? I'm, pr I'm guessing, I know the corner that come out tomorrow, the LT corner. The key will be better because he ace and overall and he has ace and speed. But it's right here. He already has, okay, this card sucks by the way. This, this base version sucks. I'm pretty sure, let me, yeah, the new one. Okay, he needed an upgrade. He did need the upgrade. His speed got a plus six speed on the, between the upgrade. And then you have your, Right tackle, which I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure he has 85 or 84. At least, apparently he doesn't. But, you know, get it, stop, let's stop talking about all that stuff. But, conference stories. Flipping for conference stories, like, you get to snipe with conference stories because of the A2s going for A3s. A2, A3s go for a lot more. And you can get a lot bigger profit margins. So, like, like always... I'm gonna guess you're gonna go by position by position, probably wide receiver, and then like, you know, go position by position, whatever it is, whatever the cards are. But so if I had to predict, I say the A2 stay at least 25k. Probably unfiltered, honestly, they might stay up at 28k because of the of the good A3s like Jim Harris, Jemiah Smith, um, King Mac, and the cor this corner over here. TJ um, Crandale. Like, they're all really good cards. And so I could guess the pack, I guess it's going to probably be 25, 30k still. Especially if they have another, like, really, really good set of A3s. But, best thing to do, fi filtering wise, you gotta see how many cards there is as your, your time you're playing. Right now, it's 50 cards in the market. There'll be more than 50 cards in the market tomorrow, or technically today, I guess, for when content comes out. So I'd probably recommend doing wide receiver, um, like right now wide receiver, tight end, uh, I think it's right tackle, go position by position. Make sure, I'm like, you could, go, you could be on newest, you can buy now. It's really a preference. Like wide receiver, let's for, go for example. I would go on newest because then I can see the newest Jemiah Smith, Smith right here. And see if I can get one of them for like, a snipe, you know, like 80, 90 K, whatever his price is, like minus the tax, minus then minus how many stuff, how many coins you want a profit on the card. Same thing for if they're new for safety tomorrow, you do newest for King Mac. So you can see King Mac up here and I got actually there's a two overall. Just do newest so you can see King Mac and the other guy. So in case if there's a snipe up that pops up for King Mac for like 50 K, 60 K, 70 K, you know, um, what they recently, rerolls have been feeding people a lot more cards recently, so, 
if I were to have guess, I would to guess, I would guess um these 85s will go way down. But something, but one thing you guys gotta be careful with. I think we're getting overall increase on Wednesday. I think our eight our champions are gonna be eight overall champions now. So I'll be I'll be very hesitant on stuff. Because last time last time this happened, um price caps went down. Which honestly won't affect the market right now. Price caps aren't even close. Their cards aren't even close to price cap right now. But um last time we had overall increase, packs odd, pack odds go way up, obviously. And uh, we have a lot more cards, A7 overall cards, A8 LT, they're gonna be wanted a lot more than the 85 overall players like Rara. Like Rara, he isn't a bad card to be buying for 100, 110, honestly. He's a good card. He goes up every, he, go, he went up a lot again this week. Same thing for defense. Um, Where is it? Eight, Lantham's not that bad. 104, he gets quick jump. He gets the good, he gets the best ability or one of the best abilities for a D line rusher. Give her 70, 80k. 70k is pretty good for him, honestly. Then the A6 overalls, the A6 overalls suck. Like Cade, Cade, um, I, you could be able to get, I could probably get him down to like 110. Day after and sell him back for like 160, 170 eventually, but I don't really like the investing of the A6s unless we see um in case you missed it, like when you see the um when you see the leak on Twitter of the of the in case you missed cards, if they're not A7 overalls, then these cards are still are f still for good for investments. To buy like for buy a little li little bit and flip it for a little bit. If you have enough coins to spend. Which you if you don't have over a million coins to do don't do it if you don't over a mil. I'll just stay in the low A2, A3s, and then flipping cards, you know. Um, but the thing to talk about the LTDs are, are the LTD tomorrow is going to be Takario Davis, whatever. He's another corner. I'm expecting them to be 7, 800K. Actually, we'll, we'll switch with something we're going to check right now. Sauce is, we can compare him, compare him to Sauce. Because he is similar to Sauce, just not in height. I'm pretty sure. At least he's probably similar. Be the A7 corner of A7 speed. Um, so Sasa six three. How tall is Takario? I don't know if I'm pronouncing the name right. Honestly, I don't know how to pronounce the name. I'm not a college football expert at all. But quickly, we go go over to corner. Actually, I think he's six two. So I don't know. Why I'm checking this, but he's basically just be like, he's basically gonna be like a little shorter Sauce. But I heard Sauce is that Sauce gets burnt a lot. Which is not a very good, which it's, I mean, I don't know. So, I mean, hopefully, um, he plays better, the new one, the new corner plays better. Also, the reason I bought the card is because that's actually a pretty good, I think, buy for me right now. Yeah, I can, I can think, I, I think I can sell it back for like 190. Take my little profit. I, I do buy these cards, just take some profit at times. You do need a lot of coins just to take the risk on these cards. These are not they're not guaranteed profit cards. But go and look at Dicario. He's not gonna be he's not a bad investment, honestly. But people have been he's a 6'4 core. Never mind, he's better than Sauce. Never mind. Okay. One thing I I feel like for him, a price I like. 600k a 600k price price would be a would be a pretty good price for him honestly i f i feel like it was back at the 800k the rest of the lt corners have went up to 800k back they went back with the 7 800k we had Darrell revis he's the first he was the second one which he was not 800k before sauce was at like 840 before the next before the new one was announced ramsey's like ramsey's like 870 he this one's 800k but now just get posted so Takario for 600k is not a bad investment if you have if you have the coins to do that. But what I would do tomorrow, I would snipe your sniping your little A2 A3, snipe your you can snipe 8 to 81s if you have lower coins. Look at 8 to 81s real quick right now. They're going for about 9k. They're hard. Their 81s go for around 12k. They go for around 12k. They're not I mean, they're okay to flip. I prefer A2 A3s right now. Um, but you could definitely do the you still definitely do A to eighty ones. Just to be a more of an annoying process because they're cheaper. But 
Um, one one last thing. Every time every time you get on the game, make sure you go look at your strat. Like I like I look at I look at strat cards every time I log in. Or every time I go in the auction house, I look at the DB strat card. Literally, I do this every time, just because people throw throw these things up for cheap. You can also do it with playbooks. You can do it with the legendary cards. You can just search them up real quick when you log in the auction house. Check if there's cheap ones. These cards are really cheap right now because there was a um the level up thing. Everyone gave, gave everyone a strat card to level 42 or something like that. But make sure you guys like and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. Peace.